In this video, I am going to cover how to use the len function in Google Sheets. So this is a pretty basic function. Um, it's very useful in a lot of different ways. What this does is it will return the length of a string, or in other words, it will count the characters in a cell or string. So the function is really easy to use. There is only one argument, which is the text that you want to count. So you can either put a cell reference in or put text into the function itself. So I am just going to show you how to use it on this data. So equals len, and then I'm going to put in the cell that I want to count the characters for. And I will just paste this down so you can see how it returns the count of these other cells. So you can see each of these counts is incrementing by one. And that's because I wanted to show that it does count spaces and it does count punctuation. That's pretty much it for using this function. Again, you can actually put um, your text into the function itself if you really want to with quotation marks. Another way you can use this is if you want to count the characters in an entire range of data, you can do that with len, but you have to combine it with another function, which is some product. So basically you'd be using this the same way, except you wrap your len function in the sum product function and you input your entire range. So just to show you what that looks like, I'm going to do some product then I'm going to do len and then I will put my entire range in here and that will return the character count of a range of data so those are two different ways to use it you can either count cells or by wrapping it in some product you can count characters in your entire range really this function isn't often used by itself. It's usually used in combination with other functions to do um, other things. I'm not going to go over that too much today. Overall, this is a pretty basic function, and if you are a regular spreadsheet user, it's definitely something you should learn. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.